Good morning. Mabilis ang pasa na ating history book. History of the Filipino People by Agoncilia N. Guerrero. Kapag ako Filipino, magbasa na tayo. Pero references na lang ito eh. History of the Filipino People by Agoncilia N. Guerrero. Today is 14 April 2023. History of the Filipino People Selected References. Nandito na tayo sa Selected references ng chapters 12 and 13. Basa. Chapters 12 and 13. The substance of these chapters has been called from Agoncelius Malolos, The Crisis of the Republic, the Documentary Sources, of which are found in the Philippine Insurgent Records. On the American version of the Philippine American Hostilities, the best sources are the various report, reports of the Major General Commanding the Army, Washington, 1899-1902. Care, however, should be taken in reading these reports, particularly with reference to the battles fought, for many of the reports had been tailored to suit the authorities in Washington. Wilcox Harper's History of the War contains valuable information on the different phases of the conflict. So far, no extensive Filipino account of the armed conflict has been written and published. General Binancio Concepcion's diaries appointees a diario de operaciones are no longer available and only parts of the whole were available to a few scholars before the last war. Other sources, mainly American, are the following. Carl Irving Faust, Campaigning in the Philippines, San Francisco, 1899. Albert G. Robinson's The Philippines, The War and the People, New York, 1901. Frederick von Stone's Memories of Two Wars, New York, 1911. Assignate Document No. 331, Three Volumes, Washington, 1902. Chapter 14. The sources of, for the writing of the Aglipayan movement are abundant, but most of them are not readily available. Those easily available are Juan E. Rivera's The Aglipayan Movement, The Philippine Social Science Review, Volume 9, Number 4, December 1937, and Francis Its Wises, The History of the Philippine Independent Church. Master's Thesis, University of the Philippines, 1954. Some of the documents we dealt with the Filipino National Church and the second phase of the revolution are found in the Philippine Insurgent Records. A few of these documents are included in Chedoro M. Kalaw's edition of Mabini's La Revolución Filipina con, onto, con otros documentos de la época Manila, 1931. Volume 2. For the biographies of Aglipay and Isabelo de los Reyes, see Manuel Artigas y Cuervas Galeria, the Filipinos Illustres, Manila, 1917, Volume 1, and Jose Elianis, Life and Labors of Isabelo de los Reyes, the Diliman Review, UP Golden Jubilee, number April, December, 1958. Pedro S. D. Achotique and Miguel A. Bernards, Bernards. Both Jesuits, Religious Revolution and the Philippines, Manila, 1960, Volume 1, may be consulted with caution. Another biography by Spanish Augustinian is Isacio Rodriguez Gregorio Aglipa y los Orgitos. Origenes de la Iglesia Filipina Independiente, 1898-1917, Madrid, 1960. Naturally, it is pro-Spanish. Another biography of Isabelo de los Reyes is found in Jose de los Reyes' biography of Senator Isabelo de los Reyes, Manila, 1947. The religious question is ably presented in the second volume of James A. Leroy's The Americans in the Philippines, Boston, and New York, 1914. The documents relating to the early Aglipayan movement were published in the periodical edited by I.D. de los Reyes.
ay ibig sabihin Isabelo yan guys yung pangalan niya ay dilos pinaiksin na lang to eh so Isabelo yan Isabelo de los Reyes La Iglesia Palipina Independiente 1903 to 1904 Some of the historic, historical aspects of Aglipayanism are found in Manuel Lagascas Iglesia Palipina Independiente So So origin signification e importancia Manila 1939 Chapter 15 Uh, pag magsulat ka pala ng libro guys, lahat ng references, isusulat mo yun, if it means binasa mo yun lahat. <laughs> diba? Chapter 15. Hindi basta-basta magsulat ng libro. Okay, chapter 15, James H. Blount's The American Occupation of the Philippines, 1888 to 1912, New York, 1912, Charts. Charles B. Elliot, The Philippines to the End of the Military Regime in Janapolis, 1916. Charles B. Elliot, The Philippines to the End of the Commission Regime in Janapolis, 1916. W. Cameron Forbes, The Philippine Islands, Boston, 1928. And J. Morfield, The Story and Marshall P. Lichaukos, The Conquest of the Philippines by the United States, 1898 to 1925, New York, 1926, are all useful studies on the first decades of American rule. The Annual Reports of the Philippine Commission, 1900 to 1915, Reports of the Philippines, Reports of the Philippine Commission to the United States, Washington, 1900 to 1916. Cover American political military activities in the Philippines for that period in detail and reprints much of the important documents bearing on America's Philippine policy for the findings of the first Philippine Commission. She reports. Sir reports of the Philippine Commission to the President, Washington, 1900 to 1901. Four volumes. Maximo in Calaos, the development of Philippine politics, Manila, 1926, discusses the era of suppressed nationalism. Romeo V. Cruz and published master's thesis, Filipino collaboration with the Americans, 1899 to 1902. University of the Philippines, 1956, discusses the cooperation between the American military authorities and later the Philippine Commission on one hand and the elite and Filipino society on the other. A thought-provoking and highly commendable essay on the record and goals of the United States during the early years of American rule is Renato Constantino's Origin of a Myth. Introductory essay to Malaya Books, reprint 1968, of Blunt's book above cited. Dapin Lian's The Development of Philippine Political Parties, Hong Kong, 1939, may be consulted for the establishment and development of political parties during the American regime. How the nationalist writers used the drama as a weapon of their struggle against the Americans is presented in Arthur Riggs' Seditious Drama in the Philippines. Current History, Volume 2, Number 116, April 1951, page 202-207. E. R. C. New Manuel's Ibig sabihin ng page na yan, guys, 202-207. E.R.C. New Manuel's Dictionary of Philippine Biography, Quezon City, 1955, provides a short biography of Juan Abad and a useful introduction to his place. References to the seditious place written by Aurelio Tolentino may be found in Isabel Yomol's unpublished Master's Thesis, A Critical Study of Aurelio Tolentino's Ang Buhok ni Esther, 
University of the Philippines, 1955. The best source for the famous Abis de la Peña case is the Philippine Reports, Manila, 1911, by Chodoro M. Cal M. Calao, editor of the El Ren Renacimiento at the time of the libel suit, gives a personal account of the case in his A de Camp to Freedom, Manila, 1965. Chapter 16 the general sources and works cited for the preceding chapters are, of course, especially pertinent here. The N.C. War Sisters, the Philippines, Past and Present, New York, 1930, is particularly useful for the American point of view in the study of the Commission government and Filipino participation in the government. It should, however, be supplemented by James Blunt's The American Occupation of the Philippines, 1898-1912, New York, 1912. Garel a. Grander and William E. Levisins, The Philippines and the United States, Norman, Oklahoma, 1951, uses congressional and other official sources and provides a particularly useful yes, summary of the civil government in the Philippines, 1902 to 1913. The reports of the Philippine Commission 1900 to 1915, Washington 1901 to 1916 is a great storehouse of documents on the development of self-government in the Philippines, including the conflict between the Philippine Commission and the Philippine Assembly. Sergio Osmeña Sr., the Philippine Assembly, an instrument of human liberation in Bulletin ng Kapisanang Pangkasaysayan, Ang Pilipinas, December 1957, discusses the role played by the Philippine Assembly in the People's Odysseys, Odyssey to self-government and complete autonomy. Osmeña's address, the constitutional development, the constitutional development of Philippine autonomy, December 7, 1923, Manila, 1924. Also, adverts to political developments during the first. Two decades of the American regime. Rafael Palmas, My Autobiography, Manila, 1953, gives insight into the important events that transpired during the period 1900 to 1913. Palma was one of the first Filipinos to be appointed to the Philippine Commission. Bukas na itong chapter 17, guys. Bye, everyone. God bless.